Good morning, everybody, or afternoon, evening, or night, depending on when you're watching this. You may not watch this right away when I upload it, so I like to say, I like to cover every single part of the day, just to be safe. But the purpose behind this video, guys, is another unscripted thoughts episode for you guys. Uh, I did promise to make more of them this year. That was the unscripted thoughts video I made for New Year's and part of my resolution was for this year to do more more of these because it helps me I don't know why I didn't do it more but I'm guessing it's just life got in the way mixed with a little bit of laziness I'll be honest but basically as you may know just based or may assume based on the name of the series unscripted thoughts that's just what I'm doing like every time I film this I just think about a topic an idea that I want to talk about and I press record and that's it I might, rec I might do two takes but only like if I mess up in the very beginning once I go past like 10 seconds that's it gotta, gotta stick with that so you may see me stop or hear me mess up a little bit but it's only because of that because it's unscripted I'm trying to stay true to the name and the purpose behind this episode guys is Due to, I guess the part of the topic would be. Let me see. <laughs> see, I haven't even really thought about it. It was just because I was getting. Ah, it's coming back now. I was getting a really bad pain right here. So I guess the topic would be. Uh, pain. Yeah, yeah. Body pain. Body pain. That's gonna be the topic of this episode. Body pain, guys. And I just wanna share with you how I feel after seven years of being injured, and most importantly, after having a hundred and fifth. 57 days yeah 157 days of my road to recovery in which I've been going to my local park lately not as much as I was doing it in the very beginning but only because I've been working but I go to my local park I do like eight laps I found like that's like the right right amount I was able to do 12 but I started like getting me a little too sore and sometimes it would hurt me a little bit so eight laps has been like the right right amount for me and I do a lap just walking, but halfway, yeah, halfway through the lap, before I'm about to finish the lap, I stop for a little bit and I do what I call leg exercises, which are the stationary knee to chest, just lifting your knee to your chest. It's hard to do it, but kind of like going like that, you know, but with your knee. <laughs> so knee to chest, heel to glute, it's literally just backwards like that, just lifting your foot back to your glute, your butt, your booty, and what else, oh yeah, and walking backwards, literally says it in the name, instead of walking, how you normally do, you just walk backwards, but trust me, it's not as easy as it sounds, especially when you're injured, because I've lost a lot of my balance, I've been gain gaining it back with my road to recovery, but, oof, when I do those with walking backwards exercises, I realize just how much, how much balance I lost, ever since I got injured but going back to what I was talking about the topic body body pain it comes and goes that's why you see me close my eyes at times the reason why I still have these type of pains is because it took me so long to truly truly push through the pain and just say you know what no matter how much it hurts how much it sucks I'm gonna really really take it serious and I'm gonna start stretching every day doing exercises walking and if you're asking yourself, well, why didn't you do that when you got injured seven years ago at the very beginning? Well, because at first it wasn't that bad. Like, I got injured 2014, June 2014. Can't forget that day. Kind of hard to forget. I got injured that day, and I ended up uh, pulling uh, my lower back. Well, not pulling, but, like, I felt something pull in my, like, lumbar area. And from there, I ended up ended up uh, developing uh, pretty bad back pain like to the point where it wouldn't let me sleep that much it was really hard to sleep and that lasted for about a year then like a year into that kind of like on its own it just started to feel a little better like I was able to, to do uh, things that I wasn't able to from the very start when I first got injured so I got a little, a little too confident I guess you can say and I went to go play this game called Pump It Up. 
I don't know if you guys may or may not know of it, but the best comparison is this dancing game. It's a dancing machine, or arcade, dancing arcade machine. Mm -hmm. And it's just like Dance Dance Revolution. You just, you just press arrows, right, on the map, uh, according to the beat of the song that you're playing. So, or that you're dancing to, I mean. So, one day I was with my friends. We went to this place called Round One. Yeah, round one. I think that's the name of it. It's basically like a Dave and Buster's. You can think of it. It's just you're able to go have some fun with friends, eat, drink, if you're a legal age, of course, and play arcade games. And one of those arcade games just happened to be Pump It Up, not not Dance Dance Revolution. Pump It Up. It's instead of the arrows being f uh, f up, down, left, right, they're diagonal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're diagonal. So there's one going this way, one going that way, one going down like that. And one like that and one in the middle too yeah so there's one two three four five there's five so just one extra step but that trust me that extra step in the middle ooh, makes a difference and it makes you move quite differently too so I was there with friends we were having a good time especially me I ended up drinking well, my fair share not too much but my fair share enough for me to be happy you know and I was really uh, in the mood of playing the arcade game, Pump It Up, once I saw it. Passed by it and I was like, oh, I have to play because I, I used to play when I was younger due to my brother. My good brother, Chris. He he got me into it because he was really into it. And I was, I was young. I was like in middle school. So 12, 13, around there, uh -huh, like around that age. And... He would go and like dance with his friends or like spend hours at the arcade uh, machine, pump it up. Uh, just playing, you know, having a good time, sweating their asses off because it makes you sweat a lot. Oh shit, it makes you sweat so much. And they were always there, so I, I would tag along at times and that's where I ended up really, really enjoying playing uh, that arcade machine, pump it up. And I was pretty good. I wasn't that bad. I was able to do it in like hard mode. There was, there was like... Easy, normal, hard, and extreme. Yeah, I think. No, crazy, crazy. That yeah, crazy mode, they call it crazy mode. There we go. No, nightmare. Holy shit, it was like, yeah, there was a lot of levels, basically. Let's just say I was like on the third level. <laughs> third level, and there was like six. Like about six, so halfway in difficulty. And, uh, well, yeah, that, that basically is what made me want to play, even though I was injured when I was right there around one with my friends. And it was a bad mistake, cause Jesus Christ. Even just thinking about it, guys, it's like you know I'm already past that. Just thinking about it. Ugh. I I could feel everything, guys. I could feel the moment in which I made it worse, in which the pain just started shooting down my legs. Cause basically, what happened is this. I played it. I was able to do like two songs. Three songs, not three. I did three full songs. Each song is like about a minute and a half, two minutes tops. Cause I mean, you're you're moving around a lot, so they also don't want you killing yourself, you know, from over exhaustion. But I did like three songs, of like let's just say a total of five minutes at most. Yeah, like about five minutes or less. And I was good. Like I didn't feel it immediately after. I did feel like my muscles. Uh, Tender, I guess that's the best way to say it. But once I got to my car, because I guess I felt the cold from being outside. Oh, Jesus Christ, guys. Like, wow. Like, all I remember is just feeling the pain that I, that I was already feeling still a bit, not as much, but still in my lower back from a year ago when I first did that injury. And I felt that pain, right? But like, it just, like, started shooting downwards, like, through my ass, my buttocks, my glutes, whatever you want to call it, all the way through my hamstring, back of my knee, my calf, my ankle, <laughs> the bottom of my foot, and where I would feel it the most, oh my god, this shit was so painful, was on... I guess the part of the knee, it's the best way I can describe it, it's the, your knee, basically it's your knee, but on the side, 
and not the outer side. So not by where your thigh is, more your inner thigh. Yeah, there you go. More by where your inner, inner thigh is. On that side right here. Right there. There's like this tendon. There's like this tendon or nerve or something that, that, that runs through there. That one, basically. Felt like, not, not immediately, but like I started feeling pain there. And then with time. Mm, Oh my god. Let's just say it got so bad like I wasn't able to drive myself to school anymore. I remember I literally spent two months, three months almost, two to three months of a school semester. Just, not two months, two months. It was school semester basically just going uh, in a lift, in an Uber, or wh whatever was able to pick me up fastest and the cheapest because it, it would take me, cost me, I mean, like about... Uh, it would range between 12 and 17 dollars going and then coming back so what i would do is i would just take an uber so that way they could get quick and then take me to school quicker than the bus and then i would take the bus back you know because it was cheap like about dollar dollar fifty at most but imagine doing that every single day jesus man it adds up it adds up and i i have to thank my father for that because if it wasn't for his financial help during that time, because I was in college when I got injured, like my third year, fourth year actually, fourth year, yeah. And if it wasn't for his continued support financially and emotionally too, he, <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I would have probably have had to have taken a break from college. But then again, I don't know if I would have gotten back. So I'm glad I did. I'm glad I just... Thanks to his help, I was able to keep on pushing through, regardless of how painful it was. Because the pain just wouldn't end there, man. Like, being unable to drive, I would have to get myself to school. I would have to walk, like, long distances. Like, my the university I went to, holy shit. I loved it, but fuck. Like, once you're injured, it's tough to get around that school. Because when... Once I got good enough, I'm gonna skip ahead real quick. Once I got good enough to be able to drive again myself to school, I would still have to park all the way at the parking lot. And that parking lot, uh, from one of my first classes, which was all the way to the other side of the campus, <laughs> was about 15 20 minute walk, give or take, depending on how many people were walking too, because it was a lot of students, and depending on how fast I was able to walk, depending on the level of body pain going back to the topic of this video depending on the level of body pain that I would feel especially there in that in that part of the of the leg that I told you right there which I'm doing my best to illustrate for you but right there right there that's where <sighs> fuck like though there was just to say those times where I'd, I, I wouldn't even know if I was gonna make it to, to class that's how bad it would get didn't know like it's kind of like rolling the dice <laughs> I would be like all right well let's just so that I can make it and there was times in which I was so scared because I would be like going downstairs taking my time but I don't feel the pain like just throbbing pain like on the scale of one to ten and just that part of the leg of the foot of the leg of the leg yeah by the knee like an eight sometimes it would go up to nine and I'm re I was reserving ten for like not being able to move obviously but it was it would always stay around there, hover around eight nine. Sometimes it would drop down temporarily to like a six, seven ish. But nothing nothing less. Nothing like right now. Like right now I don't I don't feel it at all. That that pain that I'm talking to you is about, that body pain in that area of, the, of my body. Ah thank God that I that I don't feel it there no more. I don't wish it upon nobody. No one at all. That shit sucks, guys. That shit fucking sucks. Oh, it sucks so bad. <laughs> and now this is starting to hurt more. Oh, God. And now I'm crying a little bit. Which I didn't want to, but... Sometimes you just gotta let shit out, guys. <laughs> but it's not like bad at crying, guys. It's more like... 
know, you get emotional. Thinking about all the shit you've been through. But this pain, now I'm gonna do a first full circle and bring everything back together. This pain, it's nowhere near obviously like the one I was describing, the worst one that I had from this injury, which was in that part of the, of the leg. That didn't even let me drive, didn't let me walk around school comfortably or nothing like that. No, it's nowhere near that, but it still sucks. I would say this pain right here, this, this area of the of the head. It's like right behind, yeah, right behind the ear. Right behind the ear, like right, right there. Like this area right there. Get a lot of inflammation. Not always, but when I do, whoo, whoo, whoo. it could go up to uh, 7.5 or 8. No, 7, like a 7, like a 7. It could go up to a 7. And if I'm not careful or if I move my head around too much or something or I turn around too quickly oh god jeez let's just say that yeah it causes a migraine essentially because I, I have felt uh, nauseous I have felt like bad just physically ill whenever I have uh, this intense pain right here and it's the best way I could describe this one is like this body pain is like a like a claw yeah it's like a claw imagine a claw right and someone just just goes like this, and it just it just digs itself into your head right here, right this part of your head right there. Just imagine that, guys. It just goes like that. It just that's what it feels like, basically. And it sometimes runs down towards my trapezius area, shoulder, trapezius, I think that's it, and shoulder area right here. Ooh, boy. Oh boy, those two together are one, one heck of a combo, let's just say. But it makes sense because it's connected. The neck muscles and the shoulder muscles are basically like one, one entire muscle group, broken up into. I'll be well, yeah, Muscle group means different muscles. <laughs> oh, that felt good, you see. Sometimes I could bring down the pain a little bit by just giving, giving myself a quick massage, but it doesn't take it away completely. Oh, and if you're wondering why this happened today since I mentioned that it only happens sometimes, not too often. It's, sim it's something so simple as I was doing my daily stretches in the morning and I did, I don't even want to do it because I don't want to hurt myself. But I was doing this one, watch. You know, you go like that, you look down, you look up, you stretch your neck, you look to the right, you look to the left, and then you, and then you want to do this, like, I'll just start it a little bit. You want to rotate it in the circle, there we go. You want to like give a 360 degree turn, like all around, right? It's something simple, something that shouldn't even hurt, but for some reason, it doesn't always happen, but there's some moments in which I do it just like every other time, and I'm guessing it just pulls something here on this side that just stayed bad from the original injury, which I lifted an ice chest. That's how I got injured, by the way, my lumbar part. I'm guessing ever since then, this part also got damaged. Because, like I said, I'm, I'm just doing my stretches, which I have to do. Even if it gives me this type of pain, this is so frustrating. Because if I don't, then it hurts even more. So, it's kind of like stuck. <laughs> it sucks. At least until I could figure out exactly what else is the cause. Because I know it has to do with my shoulder area. When I picked up that ice chest, I know it has to. Because I also felt, I also felt like a, a little like pull over here. Look at this area when that happened. Over here, because I lifted up a nice just the wrong way. And then also in my lumbar area at the same time went whoop. <sighs> so yeah, ever since then. That's the main uh that's the type of body pains I've had. And as of right now, this is the main body pain I have. Thankfully. Thankfully it still sucks. Cause it could give me migraines and it and it really fucking hurts. But at least it lets me walk, <laughs> at least it lets me get around, at least it lets me sleep, at least it lets me work. I guess what I'm trying to say is that at least it lets me live, guys. So, that's why this pain ain't shit compared to the pain that I was in. And the scariest part, guys, is that 
you get injured like this, you know, when it's, especially when it's been this long, seven years, you obviously can get better. You can. You always can get better. That's the bright side, but <laughs> the one thing you got to keep in mind is that for life, like literally for the rest of your life, you're going to have to be careful way more than others. You're going to have to think about what you carry, what you don't, how you sit down, how you don't, how you lay down in bed, how you don't. Shit, even like, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, like like just everything, everything, everything. You're just gonna have to be more careful, more cautious about. It's not a bad thing, you know. At least I guess in a <laughs> way you gotta you could see it in a even brighter side. Like by being that cautious, you might not overly cautious, but more cautious than others. You're gonna be able to stick around for for a while. <laughs> I don't know how long, you know. We each don't know how long we have on this planet, but. At least you'll know that you'll be around. <laughs> That's how I see it now, guys. And I'm, and I'm happy. And I'm thankful for each and every one of my friends, family members, loved ones. And even you guys, uh, my followers. Those of you who, or even not my followers, those of you who are just simply watching this video. And damn, if you took the time to watch it up to this point. You the MVP. You the MVP. Oh yeah, you sure are, and wear that shit proud, because people like me, man, really appreciate it, even though sometimes we don't know how to vocalize it, at least I didn't before, <sighs> but before this video gets even longer, guys, I think I'll save my experience and other topics uh, for other, for another video another episode of unscripted thoughts and if you guys enjoyed this just uh oh you know what to do just comment down below what you thought let me know if you also have had your share of injuries i'm i'm sure i don't doubt it i'm sure some of you watching this have had a uh, worse injuries a worse injury than me have been probably not probably have been through worse than me so i'd also like to see read and hear your opinions if you want to share your opinions i mean your, your stories your own uh stories of an injury or something you've had to go through a hardship in life i'm here to read it and reply to it just as much as you guys are here to watch my video and comment like it Subscribe to the channel if you guys want to. I don't know. Whatever you want. Whatever. Follow me if you're watching this on one of my social media pages. Whatever you feel inclined to do. I'll thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. And until next time. For another episode of Unscripted Thoughts.